everyone, and welcome back to Click Draw, and welcome back to Shardlight. Uh, Attention, citizens. Uh, Two minutes of silence will be observed this evening at sundown in remembrance of Blast Day. Okay. I wonder if that'll be an important moment in the game. Something's gonna happen. Let's go read. I want to read some of these books Hi, here. Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? Considering this has helped me, I think I'd like twice. to read for a while, if that's okay. I'd like to, of course. I'd like to what see what else he has. What subject are you interested in reading about? Um, did we do history? I'm interested in one. The ta a time of unrest. Okay, so I guess we're gonna do some reading. The shadow of a third world war has been looming over our society for years. Seemingly, every new conflict, no matter the scale, has at some point been regarded as a potential global war. Entering the 21st century, we as a society seem to have felt a false sense of security. It has been over 60 years since the start of World War II, and despite close calls such as the Cuban Missile Crisis during the Cold War, or the Iraq War, Iraqi Wars of the late 20th, early 21st centuries, Nothing has escalated to a global scale. The, cor the current conflict between the socialist powers of Asia and the o Oceanic Republic, however, seem the likely blah. Blah. The current conflict between the socialist powers of Asia and the Oceanic Republic, however, seem the likeliest, likeliest, likeliest. I don't like L's or S's. I'm bad at both. Likeliest to become the much feared World War III. The SPAOR conflict. The SPA or conflict. The SPAOR conflict began shortly after the turn of the century and has been ongoing for 20 years. At its root is a territorial dispute over the specific islands of La Pau. La, La Pau? Lapa, la, that word, from which the OR conducts most of its offshore drilling for petroleum. Of course, it's petroleum. Of course. The SBA claims right to the island as it was formerly part of their coalition before claiming independence and subsequently becoming annexed by the OR in 2035. So this is way off. This is way far into the future. Despite the signing of peace treaties on at least two occasions, the conflict has reignited and continued. Surrounding countries have felt pressure from both sides to get involved, but the geopolitical compilations of doing so have stopped them. However, with the recent developments in the SPA's research into chemical weapons, they may soon not have much of a choice. Eep. Well, that's some backstory for us. Hi, Nelson. Good to see Let's read the art one. I think I'd like to read- Of course. I'd like to read something about art. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. Modern Artists. Ray Bay. Ral Bay? By PC Heidel. A uh, carrier. Ki- <sighs> This is going to be the entire video, isn't it? The characteristically moody, a characteristically moody piece. Heidel's warm colors and energetic brush strokes are in full force here. Painted before his death, this scene shows the artist returning to his roots and capturing the bay near his childhood home. It's widely considered the artist's best work and now hangs in the Melbourne Art Gallery. Hmm. The Pit. Themes of death and torment were common in Il Ilchi's work, Eleanor Ilchi. Although rarely treated this seriously, wretched, desperate figures try to pull themselves and each other from the pits of hell, a scene showed in bold, angry colors. Eleanor would never return to the subject with such a melancholy again, preferring to joke with and taunt death in her works instead. I wonder if these are real paintings. I'm going to have to look this up later. And 
that's wait what there's a page ripped out of here hmm hi Nelson good to see I think I'd like to read for of course there's one more philosophy I'm interested in reading about philosophy wonderful I think I've got just the book for you The Nature of Man. I have never been able to pronounce this word. Tian Juan? Sean? Quan? Uh, I'm... I'm not good with reading. I'm bad. <laughs> the Nature of Man has been debated for centuries. There are two questions which have often been asked and whose answers have been debated ever since. These questions are the following. One, can the nature of man be changed? Two, what can change the nature of man? To some, the nature of man is apparent from birth. And though life experiences may shape and form personality, a man's true nature or self will not change. To this school of thought, the evil will remain evil and the good will remain good throughout their lives. To others, the nature of man can in fact be changed, which raises the second question. Some have given examples of extreme changes in people driven by motivations as revenge, love, fear, or regret. However, it cannot be universally agreed upon which of these things can truly change the nature of man. All right. Anyone wishing Ooh. to enter the vaccine lottery may do so by visiting the appropriate ministry and applying for a work permit. I get an achievement for that. All right. It's already been picked clean. Oh, I didn't mean to go there. To exit. And now that we've done a bit of reading, let's head over to the farm. Feels like... see blue flowers hey pop what's going on Amy what did you say the ran out of feed so I haven't been able to find anything else they'll eat the farm's gone barren and now the only thing I'm feeding is raven through this I'll keep that be I have to come back all right so I have no idea where we saw blue flowers so this may actually take a moment. <laughs> the reaper watches from the sky and sends ahead his birds. They Flowers let are here. Him know when someone dies, their mortal souls he hurts. I can't get to the flowers. They're sealed up inside the booth. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, my the bolt isn't strong will enough to break the glass. To take I'm gonna away need the something dead. more substantial. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your All soul. Right, so... No. Of course. Oh, why not? What about the gun? Beware the red eyed I don't see how... They mean the reaper's near. He'll take Fuck away it. your loved ones and all whom you hold. <laughs> Whoa, Amy! What are you doing? Just letting these flowers breathe. Don't get near the broken glass, okay? Okay. Sweet. I really hope I don't have to keep dealing with broken glass today. This has got to be the weed Marishka mentioned. This is apparently Blue Burglar, a weed that grows incredibly fast. The Reaper watches right. from the sky and sends work. ahead his birds. They let him... Everything wants to interrupt me in this game. Oh my gosh, singing children... Uh, announcements from the government. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's give the old man the flower. Pop, have you seen this weed before? Sure, that's Blue Burglar. I haven't seen it in ages, though. Where'd you get it? There's some growing near my place. Why is it called Blue Burglar? Because it creeps up on you seemingly overnight. 
Plant just one and your whole field will be full of them in a month. Would your sheep eat it? I think they'd eat anything at this point. Wouldn't hurt to try. Thanks, Amy. I'll go get some more and plant it tonight. At least the sheep we've got left might still stand a chance. Woo! Happy to help. Yay. All right, let's go back to uh, Gus. Is it? It's Gus, right? Over here. Oh, another thing. Butcher, a word, if you would. Yeah, what is it? The Ministry of Resources is in need. You are hereby requested to provide your stocks of meat for government distribution. But I hardly have any meat to spare, and it'll be a while before I can get more. Be that as it may, Aurelius has extended you the courtesy. In exchange, you will be provided two water purifiers per month. I don't know. I have to think about it. Very well. If you change your mind, please notify the Ministry. But know that this offer will not last forever. Good day to you, citizen. I am seeing a pattern. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. Your sheep should be fine now. Really? What did you do? Just gave Pop some blue burglar. He said it should be able to feed the sheep soon. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Amy. I can't thank you enough. I'm just glad I could help. I saw you having words with that guard. What was that all about? Eh, yeah, nothing. He was just trying to get me to sell out to the government. I promised Danton I'd give the rebels my extra supplies. I'm not betraying her for the wigheads. I admire your loyalty. See you later, Gus. You bet. All right, so I think that's it for this video. Yes, I am now making sure that I actually end each video, <laughs> not cut things in half. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!